I worked through opposition after the Howard years all the way through until Tony Abbott won the 2013 election. And I think the first time you realise you can get out of opposition is when you understand why you're in there in the first place. And I wrote as much in the Australian newspaper today. I talked about the Liberal Party getting back to basics, back to first principles, recognising the lessons of the past. They've only ever won when they've led from the centre right, not shifting around to the left. And someone else who's had a bit to say on this too joins me now from Perth, Rocco Lawyer Kono, a senior lecturer at the Curtin University in Western Australia. He wrote in the Herald Sun that uh, the Liberal Party's got to get back and realise politics is a battle of ideas. It's a contest. And that's what went missing in the recent campaign. Rocco joins me now. Well, I think you're, you're spot on with your analysis, Rocco. Um, campaigns are meant to distill the difference between you and op your opponent. But so much of the recent campaign was a me tooing from the left and the right. Good evening, Peter. Yes, and it was hard to see what the point of difference was uh, between uh, between Labor and the coalition, and that's what that's what voters want to see. I mean, and they want to see someone argue something with conviction. I mean, all we got a lot from the Liberals was about good management, and really that fell flat when there were episodes really in particular over the past two years when where management wasn't all that good and it seemed a lot about trying to avoid a scare campaign uh, particularly on uh, net zero when scott morrison said before the election he didn't want a scare campaign on nuclear energy well i mean i look at john howard in 1998 mm. when he stood down a tremendous fear campaign on the gst and he still won because people saw that he had something to fight for and he had conviction to fight and it was a point of difference with his opponent Absolutely spot on. And I know people warned us in 2013, don't go to an election promising to repeal a carbon tax. But uh, my old boss felt very strongly about it. Uh, and he said, you know, if I fail trying to do the right thing, I'd rather fail it, you know, die standing and not on my knees. You wrote in your piece that when the Liberal Party moves closer to the ALP, it dismays its own supporters without gaining any new ones. That's spot on. And you only have to look at the founder of the Liberal Party to see as a classic example of what happened. I mean, the, the left of the Liberal Party likes to use Sir Robert Menzies' quote about the party not being reactionary but using taking the name Liberal um, because it wasn't a, a party for conservative interlopers. But they forget that in 1972, um, dismayed with these small L liberals, as he wrote to his daughter Heather, who believed in nothing but would chase anything if it were worth, worth a few votes, he abandoned the Liberal Party and voted DLP. And, um, um, that's exactly what seems to happen. I mean, when you when, when you when you fail your own best supporters and want to become a pale imitation of your opponents, well, people will always just choose not the photocopy but the original. Look, you are right to remind people that when the Liberal Party were the wets, that's what we used to call moderates in those days. When they were the wets, Menzies himself couldn't vote for them. Give us a sense uh, why things went so badly for the Liberals in WA. Well, because the Liberals, uh, both here and in, in South Australia, uh, tried to out, out Labor the Labor Party and out, out Green the Greens. Um, and people saw that, look, mm. uh, what is the point of difference here? And they also saw, and I mean, over here, the Labor Party used uh, the Clive Palmer and Scott Morrison initially joining um, the, the challenge of the, the state border closure. But the point was Scott Morrison rolled over. And if he'd continued fighting that border closure, it's a fair chance that he would have won in the High Court. And that it would have put an end to that and it would have I think it, it I think it would have had a, a, a very much a change in the outcome I would have seen that look there is someone here who's prepared to fight for, fight for something I mean John Howard always said it's better to be right than popular the Liberals tried to do the popular thing and ended up losing couldn't have said it better myself I tell you what Rocco Loy Okono thank you for your time senior lecturer there from Curtin University a terrific piece in the Herald Sun absolutely nailed it